ready. Now, we all know, not all of us, but it's been said that this isn't the true new year, but it is the start of the new calendar year. You see what I'm saying? So with that, I wanted to clear the old energies of the old calendar year and welcome the new calendar year. Um, I did this last year. It just felt really good. It helps you feel like you're closing a chapter. But as many have said, um, and now that I'm learning more and I'm resonating more with the things that are being said, I it's fact that the 12 month calendar is not wasn't the original right it's normally 13 months and it um follows the cycle of the lunar cycles all that to say essentially the true start the true mark of the new year is april it's actually april 1st so when things are in bloom that's actually when manifestation should occur so I like to think of this time more so as a time of releasing. Things are really hibernating. It's hard to gather up as much energy as you would without as much sunlight. Um, you know, it's just, we've been programmed to think this is like the busy season, the catch up season, when it really should just be the slow down, wind, release, prepare season. You know, we're preparing for manifestations in the spring. So with that being said, it's like the new year, but like a pre-new year. So we're releasing things. We're making space for what we're manifesting for in the spring. Just like flowing, flowing and following with the natural cycles of life. But, you know, to each their own, whatever sticks, whatever resonates to you, you do. Whatever doesn't, you leave it on the floor and it's, you know, no foul play. No, I don't know what I was trying to say, but anything, anyways, I just want to say that I do that every year. It feels good. I feel lighter and I'm ready to rest some more because there's more winter. And honestly, you know, I do what I do. I try as much as I can. But I'm not going to try any further. I'm not going to push myself. Not not during this season, no. But I do thank you guys for watching. We made it to the end. Happy New Year for everyone. Love you guys so much. 2023 is your year. Make it count. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Good morning. It is January 2nd. And I woke up at like 7, 4, 7 30, 7 40 something, whatever. I had pretty good rest. I went to go get Duncan. Let me show y'all. Y'all, I think this is like my new favorite order. Like, quite literally, my favorite order. I had on this hat, but for some reason with the braids, it just doesn't stay on my head. Okay. Screenshot this here. Let me get y'all on the light so you can see it. Screenshot it. Try it. It is the, what is it? It's a latte with oat milk, two pumps of French vanilla swirl. Those are the sweetened pumps and two pumps of toasted almond. Those are the unsweetened pumps with sweet cold foam on top. Good, not too sweet, not too much. Mm-hmm. This room, this is the guest bedroom. And this is like where all my coats go. Those are fine, but like pants on the floor. These pants and boots, I need to find like a, what are those called? When somebody repairs your boots, your shoes. A cobbler? I don't know. I need to find somebody who specializes in that. So, and a seamstress. <gasps> I have clothes to pick up from the laundromat. I've been neglecting those clothes for weeks now. They're like sweaters, cute stuff. Okay. Let me pick those up today. I got my little 
accessories that I need to put away. My little winter accessories. I have like bins at the bottom Ugh, in there. It's not, it's like organized, but not super organized. Y'all know the vibes. <laughs> like, I'm gonna put, get it together. It ain't gotta be like folded up all neat and everything because I'm just gonna reach in there and mess it up anyway. All right, those are my dog walking gloves specifically. And we got some dog towels that need to be folded up. This curtain is like in the way for real. That didn't help much, no, I did it. Mm -hmm. So a bunch of like our old towels and stuff, beach towels is what we use to like wipe the dog's paws and everything like that. So they get washed and I just never folded them up. So today we're doing things that we don't normally get to do because tomorrow we are back on a white man's clock. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I'm just But we are back on the clock. So, working for the man. So, finally folding these up. And then, so there are a couple things that, like, I don't really do the New Year resolution things, but there are a couple things that I really want to do like changes I want to make. So I have a whole room downstairs, a whole like office area. I want to utilize that more. Um, what else do I want to do? To film, to edit, what have you. I just want to use it more because right now it's just like taking up space. And then I have like a rack of clothes down there that need to be sold and or worn. So I just need to like Take the pictures, set the clothes, you know, do the things. Um, today, if we feel like it, we're going to take down the Christmas tree. But honestly, it just depends. It's like if I really feel up to it. So we got a lot to do today. <laughs> but I'm not going to stress myself out because honestly, it's not like super time sensitive stuff. Whatever gets done, gets done. Whatever doesn't, doesn't. Trying to like adjust this comforter that I have on there. Um, like we just have so much stuff like this. It's down here. It should be upstairs. I stopped putting it up there. I don't know why, but it's like I just have random things that I put random places, and it's like either use it or lose it, girl my mind but at this moment we're gonna leave it just like that just like that okay just like that so we are about to make the bed change the linen the sheets on the bed it is that time and we're just getting ready for the work week not even just the work week i, I get tired of saying that because i'm not getting ready just to work like i don't know i don't like that narrative i am getting ready to feel good in my space that's what i'm getting ready for good sleep good everything okay taking this hat off it's not doing me no good and we're gonna get started doing that oh yeah it's been a little warm it's a little warm up here.
so as soon as we cleaned one mess <laughs> we made a whole nother one but it's okay because it's going to be like a quick mess so i cleaned out my closet of all my old scarves y'all remember when scarves used to be real popular i probably wore it out because it was just such an easy you know like outfit or whatever so instead of keeping all those for nothing i put them in the donate pile now the bed is done at first i was having trouble finding like my matching pillowcases because toxic trait i have I put things in different places like oh this is a better place oh this is a usual place and then my brain is so scatterbrained I'm like finding things everywhere it's like exhausting so everything needs to just have a place so like all my throw pillows and stuff not throw pillows throw blankets and like little pillows go there and these two I might get rid of these soon because I haven't used them in so long oh this is trash so obviously the trash is about to get thrown away. Okay. So I got this red outfit here that I love. I'm going to put in my closet right now. But this here, something I'm going to sell. This is like all my extra linens and stuff. All the clean linens. All the clean pillow pillowcases. Sometimes I want to switch them out for a different look or just for hygiene reasons. So that's what everything's looking like now. Everything's not like super clean, but it's okay. But my room was like really nice looking and then I decided, oh yeah, let me bring up all the stuff because I'm thinking this area would be a nice area for pictures. So if you don't know, I have a Poshmark. That's where I sell a lot of my vintage items and a lot of items that just no longer fit my style anymore. They no longer get utilized as much as they used to. So if you're interested, I'm going to link it. I've been linking it, but I have not been adding the new items. So today we're going to add the new items. I'm happy because I got rid of a lot of stuff. So I got more stuff to get rid of, but I'm happy with what I did today. And then, you know, as I just continue to live, I'm just going to continue to purge things that I notice. Hey, you haven't worn that. Hey, you haven't done that. So we're going to list more things on Poshmark. Um, we're going to start with this. I used to love this. It was just super loud, super attention grabbing. But I just haven't worn it in a long, long time. So I'm going to sell it it's oversized really cute rain jacket um yeah and i think i don't know where up here i was thinking i was gonna I've been trying my best, but it is 12.04 and I still have a bunch of clothes like on the floor. This is like, this is like starting to take a toll on me. So I think I'm going to switch to gears. So instead of just taking like a few outfits and then posting them, I made like six to nine new postings, new listings. Mm. So instead of doing that, my closet, one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, seven, seven. So instead of doing that, I, I'm just going to take a bunch of pictures so I can get this crap out of my room because I was like, you know what, I've been procrastinating so long like I just need to make it inconvenient you know what I'm saying that's another good thing that you guys should try if you are having trouble like like putting your clothes away like for example like you put your laundry on your bed now mind you some of us like me will be super terrible and like just throw them off into a basket and then forget about it but it does 
It's like a constant visual reminder. Like, oh my God, I don't like the way my space looks right now. Let me hurry up. So while I gather my thoughts, I'm going to, I'm just going to suck it up and just keep doing the best I can. Like, just keep taking pictures and then moving everything downstairs to that rack. And then as I sell, the rack will shrink down, you know? Um, also in the house, like, I don't know, just like once a week, I'm going to go to a room and remove a bunch of shit. Cause I'm telling y'all once it's time, once this lease is up and it's time for us to move, I'm not moving a whole bunch of stuff. I physically, I can't do it physically, mentally, like it doesn't, it's not going to make any sense. It was so expensive to move into this house with the stuff we had. And now that we've been here for so long and accumulated so much, it's probably going to be crazy trying to move out of here. But I'm going to do the best I can, get rid of a lot of things, things I don't wear, things I don't vibe with. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Also, um... You guys like the stuff on Poshmark, things that you actually like, mind you, don't like stuff that you don't even care about, you know. But I go on there and I put like special discounts. So if you're one of the likers, I'll give you a discount. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And then some of these, if they don't sell soon, they're just gonna go up. Like I'm tired of looking at them. I got a bunch of stuff in the what's that called the garage that's full of like vintage stuff that i've been trying to sell but if they don't sell soon as soon as my trunk is free from the other stuff that i'm giving away it's about to just get donated and we're just gonna write it off on our taxes and call it a day okay so we're gonna continue with taking the photos <laughs> those fall things in there <laughs> but we cleaned out most of it this honestly though is just like a hodgepodge room literally i made it like my little youtube room but you know honesty it's like got our medicine cabinet hella shoe boxes because mm, as a collector you don't want to get rid of your shoe boxes right it's just got random old monitors demario used to have um, these are all the things I'm going to sell. That's my really comfy. What am I trying to say? Comforter. I only use that when it's like, um, winter time. So like about this time, but it's honestly really warm. So I don't really need it right now. This is like a whole linen closet. So where we used to live, we had much more windows like exposed windows and it was easier to actually hang up um curtains and stuff here it's not like i don't know it's it's hard so like i have command strip ones but like i don't have a whole lot of windows it's it's different here so a lot of the things that we used to need are in there but i don't want to get rid of it because of course when i move i'm not trying to rebuy all that stuff it was a pain in the to find it in the first place and then to find it again yeah and essentially where we go to next i want there to be more rooms here let me utilize this one for this to utilize for i'm gonna want to utilize like or have more space so essentially i want to have more rooms more bedrooms like 
not just for like for guests for family for all that kind of stuff so sorry i'm like looking at my phone so i've got my laptop here at my desk okay everything's nice and neat i got all these pins which i'm about to pawn off to somebody at work because who needs that many pins demara just dropped off some office supplies um I discovered that while I was here. I've got all these little notebooks, all these little notepads. I've been downsizing, so I used to have like, I'm not kidding, like 20, 20 notebooks. Not using them. Man, what's going on? So, yeah. I'm in the process of, this is taking so long, like I'm about to freak out. I'm trying to like upload a vlog. These were supposed to make it into Vlogmas, but they never did. And it's just going to be like a weekly vlog at this point because I'm not going to waste that footage. So I still got my Dunkin' Donuts from this morning. Like, I'm the type of person to order a large and just drink on all of that. So doing that, um, I took all my pictures earlier. That's good. Throughout the week, I'm going to be adding more to my Poshmark just because that does take a lot of effort. But a lot of people are liking the listings, so hopefully they will buy the items. Hey guys, you thought I was going to do my hair? <laughs> That's a joke. Now I'm going to throw on another hat. I just, I look like, why am I going to do my edges just so they can sweat out? That's stupid. <laughs> I never really actually wear like sweats to the gym, so we're going to see how this goes. It should be fine though, because... We're doing back and shoulders today. Um, it took a little minute after I got done editing to look up like a good workout split that included that. Um, I asked Mario to do back and buys, but he did back and shoulders. Um, he has like some kind of app or something. So that's what he said. Y'all wanna know what's terrible? I left my key in the ignition of my car. Like, literally, how much dumber can you possibly get? Like, how much? The headphones got some juice to them. So we're on our way to the gym. Whew. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't take out the chicken. Oh, well. We ain't got to eat that for dinner. Look. I'll make it tomorrow. Couple things, okay? I was happy because my weight wasn't as low as, like, I was expecting. Like, I'm stronger than I thought. But that shit was hard, man. It was, like, 20 freaking exercises. Oh, my. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> So I worked out for like an hour and some change. I tried to like end strong with some cardio, but all I had in me was five minutes on the stair stepper. That's literally all I had in me. So I didn't fight it. I just did whatever I could do. And that was it. That was it, Bookies. I broke my nail. Like, I'm not flicking y'all off, but... I broke it. It is bleeding. I haven't done that in such a long time. Maybe these are just a tad too long for your girl. Now, um, I, okay, can I be 100% honest? I don't like going to the gym. The only reason I like going to the gym is because they have way more machines that do way more things than what I have at home. I don't like the people at this gym. Um, it's a few melanated queens. Um, but we don't ever chat because, you know, we all trying to get in and get out of there. But the people that's there, I don't like them. They're rude. They're annoying. People just walk in front of you. People don't pay no attention. You record and they just walk in front. You know, sometimes it could be like a little bit of delirium. You know, you working out, you getting a little lightheaded, whatever. Your blood sugar is low. But I don't like going to the gym. People's, I don't like people. Some, some of them. This demographic, I don't really fool with um the time i came i came around four hella like younger kids like high school maybe early college i'm gonna just have to get my ass up and 
be there at five <laughs> because I'm telling you, I don't like being with them. <laughs> I don't like being with them kids. I don't like being with um like the higher, the upper working class. Um, because people are just way too entitled and rude and they don't be paying attention and deliberately not paying attention. So, yeah, I'm also about to start my cycle. So that might be why I'm like a little more irritated, irritable than usual. <sighs> but nonetheless, we're headed home. Puss ass nigga talking all that tough shit. Nigga put a date on it. That's like words to live by. Like put a mother date on it. We, and that's that's applicable for everything. Like, yeah, all I hear is you talking. You ain't doing shh. Put a date on it. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm start telling myself. But y'all, I just noticed there is a Dayu International Market. Okay, it looks like an Asian market. Do y'all see it? So we gonna see what's tea with this. Um, yeah. I don't, I'm gonna bring my sweater so I don't feel weird about carrying you guys in there. <laughs> sometimes I'm bold and sometimes I'm not. Might as well call me a mother freaking Gemini. Um, cause I do need garlic powder. And then I think I was told Asian markets have that one deodorant that's like a crystal. Not I was told, I saw it on TikTok. <laughs> I have connects. No. So let's take a look. It's in a book. They got fresh produce. Wow, they got everything. Like these little candies. Like this is a full grocery store. Not like no little market. What's this? Wild jujube taste paste. Ooh, what's this? That's the only thing, like, one time I got snacks. It was like a bunch of Asian snacks and it's got aspartame in there. And don't nobody want that. I mean, I'm sure it's better than a lot of stuff I eat, but. I think they got the little, aren't they called poke? This has vegetable flavor. Uh, what's these? Capri's. Ooh, but I think they probably have lychee is lychee the same as no it's not the same as rainbow too they just like look like the same little balls for a second but these are good i'm buying these you got all this matcha now this is where you get your matcha from bump the amazon storefronts unless it's like this is where you get it they've got the they've got a bunch of chili sauces and spices what's that I can't read it. So much cool stuff. I didn't get any mochi because I need to go pick up my food. So I'm going to check out. Oh, the line is a little long. Let me look at a couple more things before I go online. Dang. Preserved fruit. That's what I'm looking at. They got the coolest like candies in here. What is that? Ooh, life in Okay, I'm about to check out. We can still make a drink with this. He said it's similar, so probably not tonight though, but yeah. Okay guys, so my experience at the Asian market, first of all, it's hilarious. Been there for two years. Second of all, the lady who checked me out, she was acting like she wanted to get her ass whooped. Like, like girl, why would you slap my receipt on the counter? Just, I don't know, things that I've never experienced at a freaking grocery store before. Like, bitch, don't fuck around and get yanked from behind that mother counter. I don't know, I ain't like her energy. It was weird. Everybody else, the other people who were in front of me, they're both Asian. And, you know, she's chatting them up. She talking. She can't shut them up. But with me, you know, the driest hello and okay, bitch. I don't know. Maybe she mad a black girl buying Asian stuff. I have no freaking clue. The area I'm in, you guys, is very much gives that. I've worked over here before. 
Um, the microaggressions and the biases are very much prevalent over here. Um, Cincinnati is just, I don't know. It's very much like that. Very racist. And the nutty, if you didn't know, now you know. It's, it can be loud. Especially depending on where you work, it can be very loud. Um, or it can be a little more understated, a little more micro, but nonetheless. Because where I grew up, Toledo, like, yeah, you had, like, it wasn't really that racist, though. Toledo is so mixed up. But you did have, you know, people who would say, you know, a little slick shit, but it was not as in your face as is here. Here, these motherfuckers are bold. Bold. I don't know why they're so emboldened. Maybe it's because we're so close to Kentucky, y'all. I don't know, but I know that every encounter I've had, you've met your match. But anyways, we got my our food. Everything smells delicious. Absolutely delicious. And I think I'm going to go a little carb crazy. Just a little bit carb crazy. I've been thinking like, mm, I've been going carb crazy. <laughs> now that I think on it um but at least I'm prepared for tomorrow I'm gonna just leave the chicken out and then tomorrow we're gonna resume with our home cooked meals you know that type of thing um it's 6 16 right now I'm gonna go home eat shower and that tree y'all we saving that for another day that tree is staying up I can't worry about that tree today Maybe tomorrow I could worry about it because Wednesday I don't go to work till 10. But yeah, today is not the mother freaking day. So um, I may or may not see y'all later. If I don't, today was fun. Today was productive. I forgot to show y'all what I bought. So y'all were there when he said this is very similar to lychee, lychee, whatever. I call it something different. But I also got this bubble tea, like canned bubble tea with boba pearls i hope this is really good i didn't even read the ingredients y'all in the back they probably got all types of bullshit in here hey what's up man what's up man ace of fame child i don't know i don't know but i am gonna try it so we're gonna see if i like it but I did, couldn't just get one. I had to get two. This one is taro flavor. So very excited about that. This Both of them have black. Well, this has black tea. That has something else. But, um, yeah, it's got some bullshit in there for sure. But, I don't know. Down and try it. Like, what in America doesn't have bullshit in it? Oh, that's cute, but here, how else, man? I help you, man. Do you want to go outside? Come on. Go. So some bricks. I got this arugula pear salad. This is gonna help. Not for you. Not for you. This is gonna help me reach my goals. I got goals to eat like four, four servings of vegetables and um, fruit a day. I got breadsticks with this homemade garlic butter that they make, y'all. So good. So sometimes they'll be like, oh, what the fuck is that? Chicken? Why is that on here? Sorry, Ted. I'll let Ted read it. Um, sometimes they'll be like, oh, we don't have it. I'm like, y'all don't have butter and just minced garlic? Because they like make it. So like one time I made it myself and it was damn near similar. It was so good. Okay, amazing. I got that. And then I've got my create your own pizza. This is what a tigger. I swear for goodness, if you jump up, <coughs> it's gonna be a wrap. Okay. So back in the day when I thought I was vegan, me and Demario eat this. And we thought it was a vegan pizza. No. The cauliflower crust, that's what I get, has eggs in it. <laughs> and parmesan cheese. <laughs> so whole time we meant well but we got good intentions does anybody else's dog just like crowd them like you trying to 
move and shake and they're just like, ha, ha, where are you going? Where are you going? You try to take a step, they don't move. It's just, it's really quite stressful. I had to make sure she didn't overcharge me for nothing. So the taro flavor was more expensive than the matcha flavor. I guess taro is more taro. Taro is more expensive. I don't know. We got our curl, curl, flakes. Okay, I'm about to go bash this food. 